For today's video, you're going to need category 4 yarn, a hook, a darning needle, scissors, and a large button. You can grab your tea, a cozy blanket, and let's begin. To start off our basket, we're going to start off with a adjustable loop. So grab the end of your yarn and two fingers. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like so to where it makes a little cross. Now you're going to grab your hook, insert it through the front loop, grab the yarn in the back, and pull up. Now you're going to just do a chain one. And now slowly remove the yarn from your fingers. And now you have an adjustable loop. Into this loop, you're gonna be placing six single crochets. Once you have your six single crochets, you have this little strand of yarn that's hanging out. You're gonna to wanna to pull on it and it's going to make the center loop tight. And now what you want to do is you want to find your first stitch. You can do that by counting backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And slip stitching into your first stitch. And now to start off round two, you're going to chain one and do an increase in each stitch. So round one, you had six single crochets. And round two, you should end up with a total of 12. So you're basically going to be doing two single crochets in each stitch. Once again, totaling up to a total of 12 single crochets for round two. I'm here at the end and I have a total of 12. There is an extra stitch at the end. That is what I like to call a pretend stitch. So we're not going to be working into it. If you have a total of 12, then you do not need to work into that last stitch. Now you're going to once again count backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you're going to slip stitch into your very first stitch. And chain 1. For round 3, we're going to do one single crochet into our very first stitch. And into our second stitch, we're going to be doing an increase. So two stitches in the same stitch. And that is our repeat pattern. So do a single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the next until you get to the end of the round. You should have a total of 18 stitches. I'm here at the end. I have a total of 18 stitches and now I'm going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet and chain one. For round four, we're going to be doing two single crochets. So there's one single crochet and there's two. And in our third stitch, we're going to be doing an increase. So two together. So our repeat for round three is to do two single crochets one and two, and then an increase until you get to the end of the round. You should have a total of 24 stitches. I'm here at the end, I have a total of 24 stitches, and now you're going to slip stitch into your very first stitch, and chain one. And now we're on to round one, two, three, four. We're on to round five, so we're going to do three single crochets, one, two, and three, and then we're going to be doing an increase in our fourth. So a repeat for round five is to do three single crochets and then an increase until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 30 stitches. I'm here at the end. I'm going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet and chain one. And now we're on to row round six. To start off, we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to increase in our fifth. So a repeat for round six is to do four single crochets and then an increase until you get to the very end. Your total stitch count should be 36 stitches. At the end, you're gonna slip stitch and chain one. And for row seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, for round seven, you're gonna start off by doing five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then doing an increase. So a repeat for this round is to do five single crochets and then an increase until you get to the very end. Your total stitch count should be 42 stitches. I'm here at the end and I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet and chain one. If you want this circle to be bigger, I will leave the link um, at the top right corner into the I box. I don't know what it's called, the info box, I guess you could say. Um, or you can visit the description box below and look on my Instagram. I will leave the written pattern on my Instagram if you want to see that. 
but for the sake of this video this is all I'm going to do for my circle and now we're going to start working on the actual box portion. So we've already slip stitched in chain one and now what we're going to do is we're going to do a round of single crochets but we're only going to be working into the back loops only. So you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch in the back loops only until you get to the end of the round. I'm here at the end of my round. I've done back loop single crochets and now you can finish it off one of two ways. You can either slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one, but that's going to leave a little row and it's going to be noticeable where you've done your stitches. And I personally think it doesn't look that nice, so you can do it this way. You can grab a stitch marker. Um, I'm just going to use a piece of yarn and place it right in between our last stitch and our first stitch. And now we're just going to insert our hook into our very first single crochet and just do another single crochet. And then continue doing single crochets all the way around until you get back to the strand of yarn. This is where you're going to start. So continue doing single crochets all the way around until you get to the end of this round. I'm here at the end of my round and I'm going to stop right before that um, stitch marker and now I'm going to remove my stitch marker and place it right in front of my last stitch. This is my last stitch and there's my stitch marker and now I'm going to single crochet into the stitch after that and continue doing single crochets all the way around. So what you're going to do is you're going to do um, continuous rounds of single crochets until you get the height of your desired box. Um, so do however many rows you need and I will meet you once I get my desired length. I'm here at the end. I've made my rows and now you are going to take out your stitch marker and you can finish it off right here by slip stitching and chaining one or you can do a round of slip stitches but for this video I'm just going to slip stitch chain one and end it off and that's how you make the basket portion now I'm going to show you how to make the lid for the lid, you're going to be needing your yarn, your um, stitch marker, and a button. So we're going to grab our yarn and make an adjustable loop again. And chain one. And now we're going to do six single crochets into this loop. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on your yarn, which is going to, once again, tighten the loop in the middle. Then you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet. And chain one. And now we're going to do a round of increases, so two single crochets in each stitch again. And at the end of the round, you should have a total of 12. I'm here at the end, and I have a total of 12. And this is the button portion, so make sure you have a button on the side and measure it out. So, um, if I put my button on top of the piece that I've just done, it fits exactly, but I'm going to make it, make the, this portion a little bigger, so I'm going to do one more round. So I'm going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet, chain one, and now we're going to do a row of one single crochet in the next stitch, and an increase in the next stitch. So for this round, I'm going to repeat the pattern of doing one single crochet in one stitch and then an increase in the next until I get to the very end. I should have a total of 18. I'm here at the end of round three and I'm going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet and chain one. And now, um, now that this piece is slightly bigger than my button, I'm going to do a round of single crochets, just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you when I'm done. I've done my round of single crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet and chain one. And now we're going to be doing decreases. So um, figure out which 
what your last increase round was. My last increase round was doing one single crochet and one increase. So that means for my decrease round, I'm going to do one single crochet and one decrease. If you happen to end off on a different row, like let's say you have two single crochets and then an increase, then your first decrease round should be two single crochets and then a decrease. So let me just show you how I do it. So for me, I'm going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then a decrease. To do a decrease, you're going to insert your hook into your next stitch, grab yarn, pull through, insert your hook into the stitch after that, grab yarn, pull through. And now you're going to grab more yarn and pull through all three loops on your hook. And you're going to continue doing that all the way around. So single crochet in your next stitch and then do a decrease in your next stitch. Continue doing that until you get all the way around. I'm here at the end of my first decrease round and now would be a good idea to stick in any loose ends of yarn you have into this portion. Now you're going to add your button into it. Like that. And now we're going to continue decreasing. So now I'm going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet to end off that round and chain one. And now my next decrease row is going to be decreasing in every stitch. So insert your hook into the first stitch, grab yarn, pull up. Insert your hook into the second stitch, grab yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook, grab more yarn and pull through all three. And this round for me is just going to be continuous decreases all the way around making sure that your button's inside because later on it's going to be really, really difficult to put it in. So keeping it in right now is a good idea. Also, if you have any extra room in this hole, you can just put stuffing like extra yarn scraps or cotton into it to make it more or to make it less flat. So I'll meet you when I'm done with this round. So I'm done with my round of decreases and now I have this little tiny hole left and this is going to be really hard to continue decreasing because the hole is getting smaller and smaller. So you can either grab a darning needle and sew this together or you can keep your hook on your, on your yarn and you can just stitch the stitches together. So insert your hook through one stitch on one side and one stitch on the opposite side and just slip stitch across. Once you're done slip stitching, you can chain one and you can cut off a long strand of yarn. The long strand should be about 6 to 12 inches. And making sure you've already chained one and then you pull through. And that is how you make the top portion of the little cap. Now we're going to be working on the actual lid portion. So once again, start off with an adjustable loop chain one and do six single crochets into the center loop. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this strand of yarn and pull. Now you're going to slip stitch into your very first single crochet and chain one. And this is going to be the exact same thing that we did for the bottom portion of our basket. I apologize for the noise outside. Give me just one second. And I'm back. Once again, this portion that we're doing right now is going to be exactly the same as the bottom portion of our basket. Okay, so we've just done round one, which was six single crochets, and now we're moving on to round two. Round two is just going to be two single crochets in each stitch around, and at the end you should have a total of 12 single crochets in total. So an increase in each stitch for a total of 12. I'm here at the end, I have a total of 12 single crochets, and now we're going to get our stitch marker and place it in between our last stitch and our first stitch, because now we're not going to be doing slip stitches and chain ones because we don't want these stitches to show. So once again, place your stitch marker in between your last stitch and your first stitch. Now insert your hook into your first stitch and just immediately do a single crochet. So. For round three, we're going to be doing one single crochet and one increase all the way around. I've already done one single crochet, and now for the next one, I'm doing one increase. Once again, do one single crochet and one increase until you get to the very end for a total of 18 single crochets. Now we're on to round four. You're going to move your stitch marker 
to your last stitch or right there and we're going to start off round four so for round four you're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch and then an increase so I repeat for round four so do two single crochets and then an increase until you get to the very end you should have a total of 6, 12, 18. You should have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this round. I'm at the end of round 4, and now we're going to start off round 5. So move your stitch marker. And to start off round 5, you're going to start off by doing 3 single crochets. And then an increase. So the repeat for round 5 is to do 3 single crochets and then an increase until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 30 single crochets. I'm at the end of round five and now I'm going to move on to round six. So move your stitch marker and to start round six you're going to do four single crochets. And then an increase. So I repeat for this round is to do four single crochets and then an increase until you get to the very end. I'm at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches, and now we're moving on to round 7. And I believe round 7 was the last round that we did on this one, so it will be the last round that we do on this piece. So we're going to move our stitch marker and start working on round 7. So we're going to start off by doing 5 single crochets. And then an increase. So I repeat for this round is to do 5 single crochets and then an increase until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 42 stitches. I'm here at the end of my final round and um, i just like to add that if you make your top, top piece the same as your bottom piece but it ends up being too small then you can do one more row. This is the problem that I'm having right now, so I'm just going to do one more round, which isn't going to change anything at all. You're just adding an extra round. It's not going to be noticeable at all. So you're going to move your stitch marker, and now I'm doing round eight. So for this round, I'm going to do six single crochets. And then an increase. So the repeat for round 8, if you are doing it, is going to be 6 single crochets and then an increase all the way around. I'm here at the end of round 8, so now I'm just going to move my stitch marker. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing continuous rounds of single crochets until you get the lid length you want. Um, this one is going to be a little different from the basket because for the bottom part of the basket we did back loop single crochets at the very bottom to get this little border design, but we're not going to do that for the top. So we're just going to do regular single crochets into each stitch all the way around. And you're just going to do continuous rounds of single crochets until, once again, you get your length of the lid that you want. Anyway, I'll meet you once I have my length. I've done my rounds of single crochets, and now I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first stitch chain one and snip off a tiny piece of yarn and now you can remove your stitch marker and now you can also weave in this piece of yarn which is what I'm going to do. Now what you want to do is grab your darning needle and get your buttoned crochet piece and attach your darning needle to it. You're also going to be needing your lid for this but first, you're going to insert your darning needle through the center of the bottom portion of the button because you want to get it centered properly. And now you're going to grab your top part of your basket and place the button right in the center. Once you have it in the center, place your darning needle through and slowly stitch on the button to the cap which is what I'm going to do off camera, but basically just stitch it on together. After you have it attached, you're just going to snip off your yarn, and there you go. And now you can just sew in your extra pieces of yarn, which is what I'm going to do right now. And now you have both pieces ready. 
if your basket came out a little loosey-goosey and not stiff, um, then you can just spray some water on it and leave it out in the sun to dry. That's going to stiffen it up. Or you can use hairspray. I personally do not like using hairspray because, I don't know, it just makes it feel a little strange. I prefer to spray it with water and leave it out in the sun because then it feels a lot nicer and it doesn't feel all sticky. Anyway, that's how you make your basket. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other ideas for me to crochet, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try to do them as soon as possible. It could be anything from tops, pants, to hair accessories or table accessories, anything. Just leave them in the comments and I will try to do them as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you next week. Bye!